Amani channel is webvideoshifts.com and in this episode we're talking about some Final Cut Pro 7 basics. Now I know Final Cut Pro 10 is what's out there, it's the latest and greatest, but some of you may just be uh, experimenting getting your hands on Final Cut Pro 7. So I just want to take you through a walkthrough, just, uh, just some basics if you're getting started. So of course you have to open the program to start off with. It'll just take a second to load up. Alright, I'm not using a Firewire, so I'll just hit continue. And this is important. So it says one or more of the scratch disk you have specified does not have rewrite access. So the scratch disk is basically the location where you will render and save all of your capture clips. All of your reference files will be saved there. So click on reset scratch disks. Hit OK. And this is where you set it. So I'm going to choose this external drive. All right, so we'll create a new folder. We'll name it. I'll claim FCP. If I can spell scratch. Scratch. All right, so we'll create it. Then we'll hit choose. And then we'll do the same for the web waveform cache, thumbnail, and auto save vault. So this is where all your basically reference files will be saved. All right, set everything. All right, everything is there and then hit OK. Very important step, just hit continue and now the program should launch. Alright, so this is your media library and this is where all your um, files will be stored like your music, narration, any sort of video files will all be referenced here. This is the uh, viewer which is where you can preview all your clips and this is what's called the canvas which is where you can view your timeline. All right, And then this is the timeline you have video tracks and audio tracks, and then you have some other things you can do. You can lock them and um, you can mute them. All right, and then you can lay multiple audio or video tracks um, as well. All right, so let's go ahead and import some footage. We'll go to File Import. And uh, I'm just going to grab these clips here. I'm not even sure I've never seen this video before, so you're seeing it with me for the first time. All right, so you're able to scrub through. Those are just color bars. Let's do this. All right, so this is HD footage. sort of scrubbing through everything here just sort of reviewing it all right it's always good to check out what you have before you even start editing all right so we have a few shots here this is uh, obviously some sort of conference we're just gonna lay some basic edits so you go to where you want to start and hit I all right this is the from the the source that's in the viewer, all right, and then hit O when you want to finish, uh, when you want to finish the edit, and then you can do two things, you can either drag it over here, and you can drag it in an override or insert, or else you can just hit over insert, insert or override, you can just hit these two, all right. All right, so that's how you lay edit down, and once again, I'll just explain it, this is the video track here, and these are the two audio tracks. If you double click on the audio track, you can bring up the uh, the waveform there. All right. Now, if you want to lay another audio, another video track, another video, I'm sorry, another uh, make another edit, just go to another point, and we'll hit I and O, and then once again you can lay it down that way. All right, now I'm going to undo this and explain the difference between insert and over override. So if you override a file, it will lay it on top of whatever you've already edited. If you insert it, it will actually push the, uh, the video back. So let's just say that if I wanted to place my edit point here, we still have the same in and outs here. I'm going to hit override. You'll see what happens. All right, so it just lays it over on top of what was already there. All right. So it goes from here. 
I'm going to undo that. Hit um, Command Z to undo. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit Insert now. Now you see it pushed, it, it split the clip and basically pushed the first uh, clip back. So as you're editing, you may just want to think about whether or not you want to insert or override. I kind of mix them up. Right. All right, so then if you just want to lay down a video, portion of video and not the audio, you can lock the tracks and then we'll just lay down the video. And I'll just show you an example here. Same edit. All right, you can do that. Or you can disconnect your audio tracks there and lay it down. All right, and then also the same thing with just your audio. If you just want to lay down audio and no video, of course you have to unlock these. Let's do the same thing. All right, and there you go. There you go. So you can edit everything. Um, you know, you can you manipulate or edit everything. All right, you can separate audio tracks. And let me go over these uh, tools real quick. This is your pointer. This is a. Uh, these are probably the moments you use. This is your pointer. This is your razor, this is the zoom in, this is the crop, and then you have some other ones as well, which I'm not going to get into right now. Also, if you want to snap on, you can click this, and what the snap allows you to do is it will lay down if you're moving something around. The snap will automatically like snap it into place, all right? And then if it snaps off, you more have to just eyeball it. It won't snap it. All right, you can sort of eyeball it. You put your snaps on. Should snap in there. Maybe I turned it off. All right, so now it's off. Now it's on. All right, snaps in a place. All right, if you want to edit your audio, double click on the audio track, and then you can um, adjust the pan. So we want to have this zeroed out. Raise your level like this, or lower it, depending upon how you need to sweeten it. All right, we'll just leave this on zero. And I'll show you one more thing here, uh, a couple more things here. So if you want to adjust your video, like add movement to it, or your picture, um, you have to keyframe it. So let's give you an example. We're going to add a keyframe here. Oh, let me click on it first. All right, so there's one keyframe there. And we'll add another keyframe here. And then we'll increase the scale. All right, so now what it's going to do is just going to, you're going to see the effect here. It's just going to sort of push in the video. It's going to be like a digital zoom. All right. But that's good with like photos. Um, it works well with photos. Then if you want to rotate your video, you can center it, you can uh, crop it. All right, so top and bottom. Add some opacity. You can manipulate a lot of the video. All right, so just get in there, play around with it. Uh, if I can do this now, opacity, opacity. There we go. Make it transparent. Um, and I will show you one more thing, and then I will let you go. Because then it's getting kind of lengthy. But if you want to add graphics, you click on this A, little A here, this little A icon. And then the one that I like to use is, I think, Boris Title 3D. All right. Then once it's there, you go into, let's see here, controls. And then double click on it. And then test title here. You can, of course, adjust the color, all these things you can manipulate. It'll just go to apply. And there's the test title there. And then you can add it there. And now you can just drag and drop it. And there it is. And then you can even want to bring it down like if you want to do a lower third or something like that you can bring it down here or whatever you want to do all right 
And then once you're all done with your masterpiece, um, if you want to bring an uh, audio track, you just um, drag it on the audio three um, as appropriate. And then once you're done, you go to file, export, and you export using QuickTime Movie, QuickTime Conversion, whatever you want to do. Um, you can just export the audio and other stuff like that. Um, so that's about it. I just want to get you started, though. Hopefully this was helpful. There's a lot of tricks. Final Cut Pro 7 is powerful. Uh, Final Cut Pro 10 is the latest. Um, but hopefully this was really helpful for you. Hopefully this wasn't too long, and this will help you get started. I'm on your channel, webvideochefs.com. Holla!